Howdy folks! We recently went on a Halloween on the High Seas cruise on the Disney Dream out of Miami in late September, early October 2022. And as a part of that, we wanted to get the decoration package, the uh, Halloween on the High Seas decoration package. Well, more about that in a moment. Ah, Halloween, what's such a fun time of year for everyone? Disney does it up pretty well, as if any of you have ever been to the parks and been to the Halloween celebration, the not-so-scary celebration, they do that well. Well, they equally do it well here on the Disney cruise ship. We're on the Disney Dream here in late September, early October, and it was a Halloween on the high seas cruise. So, of course, we love the experience. We love the dressing up on this night, as well as on Pirate Night. Both of them excellent. The one thing that we did not want to miss out on, though, was the decoration package, uh, the Halloween on the High Seas decoration package. Earlier, we had been on several other specialty cruises. We had been on the, uh, on the Disney Magic last year in November, and we had been on the Halloween, or not the Halloween, the Very Merry Time Christmas Cruise, and we noted that there was a decoration package there. We didn't get it, but we could look in rooms and see that Man, well, I wish we would have purchased that before you went on the ship because you could not purchase it once you got there. Also, we've been on the Star Wars Day at Sea cruises, and they give you a little, a, a couple of items there, but when we looked into rooms and we saw what they had as well, we were like, man, I wish we'd have gotten that ahead of time. And my wife has also purchased a uh, birthday package where they decorated the room and did some things. Also awesome as well. So. It's one of those deals where if you can do it, uh, getting the special decoration packages are probably something pretty awesome for you to get for your experience. So on this cruise, we didn't want to miss out. We decided once we saw that that uh, package for the Halloween on the High Seas was available, that we were going to purchase it. Well, in this specific video, we are going to speak to the Halloween on the High Seas decoration package. We're going to have another video out there related to the Halloween on the high seas overall and what we experienced and how it was over that period of time. Now, for the longest time, this package was not showing up on the options to purchase. We looked, you know, when we first started looking at this, probably late July, August, July wasn't there, August wasn't there, early September it wasn't there, but finally on September the 7th or in and around that time frame. We saw something on Facebook that was stating, hey, the Halloween on the High Seas decoration package is available. You better go get it. So first of all, we grabbed our phone. We started looking at it. We tried to figure out, okay, is this available? Maybe, maybe not. We could see it. We couldn't see a price on it. And we couldn't see a button to say, hey, purchase it. So we gave up on the app. The second thing we went to was the computer. So of course, we go to the computer. We're typing in. And we realized, again, we could see it we couldn't see a price and you couldn't see a button to actually purchase it. What do we do? Well, ultimately it was uh, something that we read on Facebook that we then needed to go in and actually call them. A nightmare, of course, in most cases for Disney. We had called weeks before then to kind of straighten out some things related to this cruise. The wait time then was about three hours. Of course, I could just put the phone to the side, put it on speaker, and finally we spoke to someone and resolved those issues. But on this, I decided, okay, if we want this and it's not going to sell out or anything of that nature, we better call them. So we called them, stayed on, uh, on the phone for about 45 minutes before someone picked up. When I spoke to them, they said it was, of course, very popular on that day because it really wasn't even noted in their system until that day. And we were able to purchase it, or at least one for our room, which was 8186, and one for my in-laws room, which was 8184, since we were celebrating their anniversary, their 50th anniversary, even though it was a year late. So it was actually their 51st and a half anniversary or something of that nature. Also my father-in-law's birthday. So we wanted to put this special package in their room and also put it in our room as well. If you would, just look out. If you want to see uh, one of the handicap rooms and a review of that, we're going to post that room 8184 very, very soon. But on to this package. Well, after speaking to the person on the phone, very nice person about the package, we realized this package was going to be $103.79 $103 for each of the rooms. Now, at first you look at that and you think, 
my goodness, $103.79. But we had already kind of made the decision because Disney are already paying a premium. We knew it might be a little bit more than, you know, it is comfortable, but we decided we were going to get it for this special occasion anyway. And I'm so glad we did. Uh, the second we walked in the room, the second we saw it, we knew this was definitely a huge win for us. So yes, we ordered this September 7th. We boarded on, on September 26th. We got on the ship, we went into the room, and it was wonderful to see everybody's eyes light up when they saw uh, what was there. Of course, uh, they really didn't know that this was something that was gonna be uh, probably something extra, but we did. We knew this was something special that not everybody would get. We were finally gonna be those folks that were gonna, instead of envying everybody else that had it hanging, we had it in our room, and we were happy that we did. Of course, we've been showing you the video behind us. We're gonna continue showing the video and start showing you some pictures of things, but I'm gonna also show you the actual items here. The question becomes, what do you get for your $103.79? Well, the first thing you get is a fleece-lined Halloween type of blanket that I'm gonna show you right here. You can see just by, by looking at this how, how the Sherpa is, how it's just so very soft. Big win there. Uh, the other side you've seen in the pictures as well, but it's purple in nature. You know, it's Halloween on the high seas. It's very, very pretty, uh, especially has the Disney characters. There's Donald as a, has candy corn. Uh, there's Mickey, there's Minnie, there's the Disney logo on it. All in all, this is a wonderful little blanket, I, I believe. So for starters, when we saw this on the bed, it's about four feet by five feet. So a very fairly good sized a throw for you to keep around the house. It's something that we'll bring out year after year now. That's definitely a win from that point of view. The second things I wanna show you are the tapestries. And forgive me for bending down and picking up some things, but the second thing are the tapestries. One of the tapestries, here's one of them. This is the, whoop, backwards. Which way to the candy? And you can see here, there's some cool ghosts on it. There's Minnie, there's Mickey, uh, there's Donald again, and there's the Disney logo. It's all held up by this thing at the top that's actually magnetized and they had stuck to the ceiling. Uh, a definite win here. This is something that if we had seen it individually on the cruise, something we probably would have purchased. So uh, that was a, a definite win. Its size is about three feet long by about 14 inches wide. That was on one side of the bed. On the other side of the bed, we had yet another one. And let me go down and get that one. This other one is contained right here. Same type of, of dimensions, the three feet by 14 inches. A lot of cool things. Not as many Donalds and Mickeys and all that, but there's the Disney cruise ship, as well as the Disney Cruise Line logo below. Both of those were not available unless you got the package. Now, if they would have been, I'm sure they would have sold out of those uh, in no time. Both of those were definite wins as well. It will definitely be something that we can put up at, at home. We don't have magnetized ceilings like you have on the cruise ship. But we can put it at the top of the shelf, put a little bit something on it, and it hangs very well from our experience here so far. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is this it is a disney pillow it's a pocket pillow it looks like a pumpkin on one side as you can see here i've got a fairly big head <laughs> as you can see here i think it's about 20 by 20 give or take one side it is the uh the mickey uh, pumpkin the jack-o-lantern on the other side it's the halloween on the high seas happy halloween from the disney cruise line uh, you can also see that it's a, a pocket pillow so there's a zipper you can put things inside of it extremely cool but again only available if you go and get this package before you get on the cruise so something to keep in mind from that point of view that's the mickey head pillow next thing i'm going to show you is a is a trick-or-treat bag this trick-or-treat bag is about 14 inches by 11 inches one side it has nothing it's kind of a felt the other side has goofy in a tree and his little costume has the Disney Cruise Line logo on it. All in all, a very cute little bag. Of course, you can put your treats in there. You can take it trick-or-treating. Um, something they didn't have available again, unless you get the package. So something else to consider from that point of view. Also, 
they gave us a big magnet. You can see this magnet is fairly large. The magnet across is about 12 inches or about 12 and a half inches or so. There's nothing really distinctive about Disney except for the Disney Cruise Line a logo on it, but it kind of goes along with all the other tapestry, all the other items, the same colorings, the same theme. Something, again, very, very heavy. When you stick it on the wall, it's something that really stuck well to doors, never slipped off. We have it on our fridge now, even though you think about it, that's a big old fridge magnet. But it's something that we'll pull out at, at Halloween time and years to come. Definitely a win there. And then the last thing is what it all would come in if you would get it and it wasn't already out. This is a big old bag, has a Disney Cruise Line logo on it, has Happy Halloween on it. Um, if you got this and it wasn't put up by your room attendant or someone, the blanket, the, the tapestries, the pumpkin, everything would be contained therein. And of course, when you took it off the ship, you could put it all back in there and take it off the ship at that point. So all in all, all of this together, it was a wow moment. Let's put it that way. It was a lot. Uh, there were several items in it, and we loved every bit of it. So all in all, I really did like the Halloween decoration package that they provided to us. But you had to start asking yourself, was it worth $103 that we paid? Well, I think it was. Yes, it was. But then I had to start thinking about it. Well, what if they had sold these items separately? What if they had been available in the gift shop? How much would each of these items been, uh, would they have charged for them if they had sold them in the gift shop? So I started thinking about this one by one by one as we went through them. So first of all, the throw. How much would you pay for the throw? Well, how much would they charge you for the throw? I mean, it's not, you're on a Disney cruise, you're paying a premium, the gift shop, they have you where they want you in all honesty. But the throw was extremely cute. It's not something you would get every year if you went on this year after year after year, but this was our, our first one where we went and got the package. So the throw, I bet you, would be somewhere around um, $69.99, $70. Crazy, but I think that's what they would probably charge you in the gift shop areas on the cruise line. The second thing are the two tapestries. When you think of, of both of them uh, together, to me, these are extremely cute. These are, are something that you can put up every year. You can store them away fairly easily. They will roll. How much would you pay for those? My wife and I kind of spoke to this, and I'm thinking a number might be $30 or something of that nature, uh, which might be a, a good number, forgive me. And I think $30 each for them. So $30 each, that's $60. Okay, we're now down to a, a bigger number. The, the Halloween pocket pillow. Well, that's a big old fluffy special item. Anytime if you've gone into a gift shop and look at things like that, I think you're talking $50, something of that nature, uh, just by itself if they had been selling it in the gift shop. The big Halloween magnet that I showed you, 12 and a half inches across, I think we're probably talking $30 or so. The trick or treat bag, the felt bag that had Goofy on front of it. Um, we're thinking probably in the range of $25 and then the big sack to hold everything, we're thinking $25 there. So we started adding all this together and think about, okay, we paid $103. It appears that if you added all those together, it would be $260 plus tax. $260 for all those items. Would we have purchased them all? Uh, not if I paid $260, no, but I would have probably purchased the throw, uh, one or two of the tapestries, the Mickey head, the magnet, yeah, I think I probably would have spent the $103 if those items had been available individually, but they were not. So all in all, I'm very happy that I purchased this. Now the question is, would I have loved purchasing this if I'd gotten it and it had been uh, other items, if it had been ugly items? And you know, that'd been something else I would have had to have thought about it there at that time. Uh, but for our given time and this given year, it worked well. But some other thoughts on this package, we heard some various items related to what other people's experiences were. Our experience was wonderful. Also, our room attendant was very good. Wira was an excellent room attendant. Uh, he would remember your names from, from the get-go. If he saw you coming down the hallway, he would speak to you. Uh, he really wasn't in the way, but did his job and did his job well. So good for you, Wira. But there's some folks that got to their room, they purchased this ahead of time, got to their room, and it wasn't there. 
Now there's some mix-ups and things that go down and I get it, uh, but if it had not been in the room, that would have been a major disappointment because part of the fun was entering the room, seeing it on the bed, seeing it on the wall, seeing it hanging from the ceiling. And that's something uh, that if you, we did not have that experience, uh, we would have really missed out on something. So I'm glad that was our case, but for those of you that didn't get that, so sorry. The other thing, sometimes folks got to their room and they realized, okay, I ordered the package. All they got was the big old bag. They got the big old bag and it was full of all their stuff and it was not put on the walls, it was not laid out. And uh, to me, again, I would have gotten it, I'd have been happy there, but I would have been a little disappointing, a little disappointed that the room was not decorated the way I thought it was gonna be decorated. Um, so for those folks, I get it. I get your disappointment. I would have wanted to have seen it out as well, because the first thing I would have done was to open the bag, take it out, and put it up the way that it should have been put up in the first place. Well, folks, that was our experience with the Halloween on the High Seas decoration package. We loved it. We think it was well worth the $103 that we did spend for it, even though that's a spendy amount. It was a special occasion and we definitely loved it. Uh, so we're so happy that we did get it. If you would, please consider subscribing. There's a lot more videos coming out there related to this specific Halloween on the High Seas cruise. We also have a cruise coming for the, uh, for the Disney Wish coming in November. So lots more coming. So until next time, happy meandering.